Welcome back to Obscure Offerings, the somewhat infrequent series with a dumb name in which I cover little-known locomotives or multiple units. Today we're revisiting England, with our subjects being the London and North Eastern Railway Y6 class, a small tram engine that first appeared in the 1880s. To understand how the Y6 came about, we must initially discuss the Wisbeach and Upwell Tramway. This was a 5.9 mile long line running from Wisbeach to Upwell in East Anglia, and was built to carry produce from the nearby farms. It connected with the main line as the now extinct Wisbeach North Station, and these days Downham Market is the nearest railway station to the older tramway formation. Because significant parts of the line ran through urban streets, the Board of Trade required that locomotives on this route be equipped with cow catchers, side plates, speed governors and a bell. This was unusual for British locomotives, as unlike their American counterparts they generally didn't have bells. The Great Eastern Railway was in charge of operating the Wisbeach and Upwell Tramway, and the original locomotives for this route were the G15 class 040s, designed by Thomas Worsdell and built at Stratford Works in London. Eventually the class would comprise only 10 examples, though just 3 were initially built in 1883 and 1884. The next year saw 2 more built for the Yarmouth Union Tramway, and the last 5 were built between 1891 and 1897 as traffic increased on the Wisbeach and Upwell. The G15s were numbered from 125 to 134, but confusingly they were built out of numerical order. Numbers 130, 131 and 132 were the 1883 originals, while the two built in 1885 were numbers 128 and 129. Numbers 125 to 127 were built in 1891 and 1892, while 133 and 134 weren't built until 1897. The G15 was quite a small locomotive being only 6.15 metres long. As one would expect, the design wasn't very powerful, with a tractive effort of 25.96 kN, or 5,837 pounds of force. The engines had two inside cylinders with a diameter of 279 by 381 mm, and a boiler pressure of 140 psi. Regarding fuel capacity, the G15 only had a 500 gallon, or 2,270 litre water tank, and a coal capacity of just 0.5 tonnes, so you would certainly never get these things running over to King's Lynn and then all the way down to London. As traffic on the Wisbeach and Upwell tramway increased, the Great Eastern Railway introduced the larger C-53 class 060 in 1903, designed by James Holden. This was the first catalyst for G-15 withdrawal, with numbers 127, 128, 130 and 131 being taken out of service between 1909 and 1913. Numbers 125, 126 and 129 had a zero added to their numbers to avoid confusion with the C-53s.
The Great Eastern Railway was absorbed into the London and North Eastern Railway in 1923, and as part of the grouping, the G15 and C53 classes were redesignated as the Y6 and J70 respectively. At this point, there were still six Y6s in operation, being numbered 07125, 07126, 07129, and 7132 to 7134. They didn't spend their entire lives on the Wisbeach and Upwell tramway, as indeed there wasn't much work left for them after passenger services were axed in 1927. The unusual Y10 Sentinel locomotives were introduced to the line in 1930 and Y6 numbers 7132 and 07129 were withdrawn in 1931 and 1933 respectively, while the remaining four were kept in storage and only used during the busy fruit season. During World War II, the surviving Y6s were used in a few different roles. For instance, 7133 and 7134 were loaned to the Whistington Light Railway in 1941, only to be replaced by J70s after numerous derailments, in November 1942, number 7134 was briefly loaned to the US Army Transportation Corps and worked at Burton-on-Trent. After a short stint at a Royal Ordnance Centre near Derby, number 7134 returned to LNER service in October 1944. By the end of the war, 7133 and 7134 were the only Y6s still in service, and were soon renumbered to 8081 and 8082. Following the LNER's acquisition of several Hunslet Austerity 060 saddle tanks, which they reclassified as J94, the aforementioned Y6s were renumbered to 8082 and 8083. Incredibly, they both survived into British Railways ownership in 1948, though despite being renumbered to 68082 and 68083 respectively, only the latter received a proper BR logo, specifically the early crest. As indicated by the fact that only one Y6 got a BR crest, what was left of the class didn't last much longer past 1948. 68082, formerly 7133 and later 8081, was withdrawn in 1951, with 68083, formerly 7134 and later 8082, going in 1952. Sadly, none of the Y6 tram engines survived into preservation, but despite 68083 being earmarked for preservation, she languished at the Stratford paint shop before her eventual scrapping in the mid-1950s. As for the Wisbeach and Upwell tramway, it remained in operation for at least another decade after the last Y6 was withdrawn, running as a freight-only route until 1966. Beginning in 1952, Class 04 diesel shunters were introduced to the line, specifically numbers D2200 to D2203. These four were equipped with cowcatchers and side plates, just like the tram engines. Although the line is now long gone, it has since been immortalised by the Reverend Wilbert Audrey in his railway series books. Indeed, Toby the tram engine is famously based on the J70, and Mavis the quarry shunter is based on the Class 04. Incidentally, the Thomas Warden Railway versions of Toby depicted him as an 040 instead of an 060, so technically he's a Y6 in that wooden model.
While the Y6 never appeared in the Railway series, we still have a good way to remember the class besides looking at old photographs. In 2022, Forth's Games released a Y6 add-on for Train Simulator, and the pack is available on the Steam Sound Supreme website. As good as this pack is, I don't understand why there's no Great Eastern variants for the locomotive included, especially when you realise that all the included rolling stock, including the famous Wisbeach and Uprail passenger coaches that served as the basis for Henrietta, is only included in its Great Eastern condition. And on that note, I think we've pretty much come to the end of the Y6's story. To summarise, this was a small 040 tram engine that kind of served as the predecessor to the more famous J70. Feel free to inspect the previous videos in this series, covering such unusual subjects as the General Electric BQ23-7, Caledonian Railway 34 class, Lyon Metro MCL80, and the Waterloo and City Lines class 487. So until next time, thank you all for watching.